I really, really wanted it from the beginning. Swipe and invite, swipe and invite. <laughs> you like that? Hold on, guys. One more time. Dude. Gosh, I used to play this song all the time. Get your popcorn and tea. Get your popcorn and tea. Yeah, never scared. Never scared. Team Keen, come through. Always invited, Team Keen. Hi, Mock of the Week. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Bandits in the house. The Wild Wild West. Do I have international views? I don't know. I don't think so. The phone line is open. But let me tell you, I'm not talking about my family. So don't ask any family related questions. A call in number for international. Um, what? Brandy said you stalk her scopes, but yet Brandy can't keep her dick out of my scopes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for that. I appreciate that. Thank you. Behind me is the uh, thin red line flag for the fire department. My dad is a 35-year veteran of the fire department. Who's going to be the first caller? Oh, I know. Why would she say that? I was like, because we get laid? <laughs> Not I. Not I. I mean, I really don't know any man that would. Or woman. Uh-oh. Unknown number. Here's our first uh, tr troll car. Troll call. You're live with Dree. Oscar the Grouch call. What's his eyebrows back? <laughs> Brandy no teeth. Why doesn't Brandy call in? I don't know. I don't know what that was. Y'all know we're going to get trolled like a motherfucker, but nobody's going to trigger me. Oh, 301 number calling. You're live with Dree. Just like old time, Justin Hey. It's my buddy Donlod. What's up? I don't know. Does this remind you of the old days? Oh, yes. Yes, yes. When we used to get on people's, you know, make people lose their minds over us about, what, a year ago or so? Yep. And they were fun times, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, they actually were. You know, the old Don Lodge kind of mellowed out, hasn't he? 
Oh, you have made like a 180 on this app. No, nobody talks about, well, except for Gina, baby. She's missed me for like a week now. It's like, Onward ducks me, Onward. It's like, I think I wrote it down. I think it's the million of times she's mentioned that Onward ducks me. Nobody gives a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm trying to make it louder, you guys, but... Do you have speakers? Um... I have a Bose speaker. Hey, this guy saying I'm gay? Yeah, let me block that fool. Okay. Yeah, that's Tina. If you're looking for a gay dude, go find Miss Tina. She only should charge you $15. It's like right here, you you guys, it's like really close. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Do you like that? I was like, just fucking wave your hand, bitch. You can't jump. Just wave your hand. <laughs> what do you think of Miss Tina, Dre? You never really talked about Miss Tina. What do you think of Miss Tina? I mean, I really have no opinion of her. Or. Do you like to have, you like to have teeth like him? No. I'm trying to find the mic on this iPad. Do you know what it's, uh, he has, like, George Washington cut-out teeth? You know, it's like, it's like he cut a piece of paper, put it in his mouth, and painted them white. Yeah? Like, have you seen him really, when he really, really smiles? What I want to know is how he smelled in person. I wonder what his car smells like. You imagine the like the bacteria that's in that car? Fish, I bet it smells like mixture of skunk and fish. So, are you guys having like a little beef, or what's going on with you and Miss Tina? He mentioned me every once in a while, but he's been going after Big Teen though. Really? Yeah, look at his scopes. It's like he's had like that guy scopes. 31 times in 24 hour period I count is like that's somebody that needs a job really bad instead of being on scope Miss Tina why don't you get exactly a well I mean after I told him that I knew where the La Brea tar pits were he uh, relocated real fucking quick <laughs> he's all talk he has a big mouth it's like he blames me for three but, but the I ever had anybody has I have I ever needed anybody's help to go after somebody? Never. Miss Tina blames me for his you know, I mean him and Burkle are friends now, but Miss Tina blamed me for uh her problems with John Burkle. That's what what uh got Miss Tina not to like me anymore. I, cause I told him to go after Burkle. It's like, no, I never told you to go after Burkle. He did that on his own. Really? Going Burkle scopes and harassing. Hey, I never knew Don Lund. Don Burkle. <laughs> Don Lund. What's your opinion yeah. about Burkle and Pink? Big Keen, have you heard about Burkle and Pink? Swipe and invite. Know. Everyone okay. invite. That's... Me, I... I feel bad for Carrie, but it's not. I don't get in people's relationships. That's if that, if that's what they want to do. That's them. I hope Pink affect, gets pregnant. Somebody said she's over fifty. Affect, she ain't getting pregnant. It don't affect me in any way. But I heard, I heard that John's going out there, and that if they get along, then she's gonna move to New Jersey and just leave her like twenty kids, I guess. Like I said, I don't get involved in relationships. <laughs> I, I mean, that, you know, I don't care. If, you know, if that's what they want to do, it's none of my business. I mean, it'd be, you know, it'd be like, you know how it is, Dre, because people talk about you and your relationships, so, you know. Yeah. It's nobody's, nobody's business. I don't care. It don't affect me in any way. <laughs> well, I mean, I think she had a good thing with Cowboy because at least he had money. Burkle's broker than a 
I mean, they're both going to be broke. I don't follow all this, you know, all this stuff. You know, it's like, Virgo, he don't mention me, so I don't, you know, I don't mention him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we got one common that we both like is Boom Chick. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I'm not going to trash John Virgo because uh, he likes Boom Chick and I like Boom Chick, and I'm not going to start anything with him and put her in the middle because, you know, Boom Chick has been there for me. So Yeah, I know going to criticize, you know, I'm not going to talk about it. You know, I only talk about people unless they talk about me. So only people who's really talked about me lately has been Miss Tina and Gina. You need a slow-mo, Gina. (laughs) Oh, boy, weren't those a good old day? Stop talking about it and just do it. You know, you're the one that came up with that slow-mo. She hates it. That'll drive a Gina Baby marathon in a heartbeat. Yeah. Like, I knew she was watching my scope because, bam, she was right in my scope right away. It was so funny, but uh, um, Team Keen Bandit uh, was in my scope the other night, and they had not seen her. And so, I, you know, of course, my favorite game with her is to play, like, how old she is. And I was like, okay, how old is she? And then, like, the bandit was, like, 67. I'm like, bah! Like, she's 48. She's 47. Oh, 47. Okay. I mean, even younger. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, it's like, Gina, why do you keep on mentioning old Don Lot? Anonymous! Hi, Anonymous! I miss you, Anonymous. Call the restaurants up trying to find me and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Calling restaurants to figure out the cups or something like that. I think she's going to roll up on me. It's like, uh, she would have rolled up on me. Hi, honey. <laughs> I miss you. Oh. You know, I pay, I pay them waitresses pretty good, so they wouldn't have took too kindly of that. They would have handled it for me. Let's just put it that way. They would have handled her for me, if you catch my drift. Yeah. Well, I mean, literally, like, yesterday, um, yesterday in the car, she sounded like Hitler. Like, she sounded like a dictator. Like, the way that she was talking to everybody in the car, she sounded like a dictator. And I was just like, wow. Like, these people care so much about this shit. Like, this is their world. You know? Oh, yes. It is some people's world. Have you noticed I haven't really been on scope lately? Yes. I did. A while back, I said, once the weather gets great, I'm going to be outside doing things. That's what I've been doing. I've been going outside. I know. You know, I've been going out on the river. I know. I almost was like, I think we should do like a wellness check on a uh, Don Lod. Like people should, you know, take my advice. Get out and enjoy the weather. Quit fighting with everybody. It's like you're never gonna meet these people. Is Brandy scoping me? Wait, hold on. Well, I gotta, I gotta turn the Periscope TV. Is that hey, Brandy. Scope? Fuck you, Brandy. <laughs> Fuck you. Of course Brandy's scoping me. Oh, again, everybody, she is 275. She's not 350. I was wrong. She she confirmed that she weighs 275, uh, two, 275 pounds, which is about 130 pounds over what she should be. Okay, Don, continue. Just like checking Brandy out on Periscope TV, see if anyone's talking shit. Let me, you know, see if anyone's talking shit. I mean, call in Brandy. What the fuck? Why you scope? Call in. Actually, scope me. Swiping, inviting, fucking Brandy's room too. Y'all, I'm winning. If you think I'm upset about all these scopes about me, I'm winning. I don't know if I have like the call waiting on. Uh, I don't think I do, but I don't know. This is like my first time doing this. Brandy, wait, wait, wait hold on, what? Brandy, you, you said was, yeah, exactly. 
But I'm the stalker, right, Brandy? But you're scoping me? But I'm the stalker. Why don't you refresh in your notes for your podcast? Because you suck. You really suck on your podcast, Brandy. Well, you have a lot of hate in there. No one said nothing about me yet, so far as I know. I might have to watch the replay. <laughs> but it's like they think that I care what the fuck that they have. To... Anything that they say is good publicity. You know, when they stop talking about you, that's when you fucking worry. You know me, Tree. I like when people talk about me, so it just, it just gives me an excuse to talk crap. Yeah, I mean, I'm not phased. Like, if you really want me to, like, I don't know, stop talking about me. Because the more you talk about me, like... Exactly. Free promo. Free PR. Exactly. I hardly go on scopes anymore, you know, unless it's Big King or something like that. Because Big King, you know, Big King's pretty entertaining. <laughs> I admit, he's not for everybody. But that's the thing is, if you don't like somebody, why watch them? Why respond, you know? Yeah. Like, like, that. like to me, all the time that they spend on me shows me how much they care, you, you know? They really fucking care about me. Because, you know, uh, someone asked me, he said, Don, look, do you, how do these people affect you in your life? I said, well, they don't. He said, why are you fighting with all these strangers then? So I had to look in the mirror and say, why am I fighting with 50 million people? Yeah. I mean, how did, once I get off this app, you know, when I, you know, turn off Periscope, I don't even talk about Periscope. I did it once to a few friends. They thought I was nuts. Yeah. So I don't, it's like these people are worth my time, my energy. And just and who the fuck, who the fuck cares? Why do these people care so much about fucking what's going on on Periscope? Their whole life is like centered around Periscope. Like Gina's, li like Gina's life. Like, the way she was talking in the car reminded me of Hitler. Like, it was scary. It, it, it was scary. Thank you, child support god. I didn't, spoil, I didn't watch all of her spoke because, like I said, they're too long. I can't, I can't stay awake that long. Yeah. I can't stay awake five, six hours. Hey, um... I'm going to hang up with you, and I'm going to take another caller. Okay, I'll call back later. Okay, Dunlon. Much love. Love you. Bye. Bye. All right. The number is in the title. Thank you. Yeah, so Tonstall, uh, Mrs. Tonstall, look at me, bitch. You think you're prettier than I am, bitch? No comment. But I think, like, oh, oh, and then Brandy's like, she doesn't even show her face anymore. Well, I can stand up, but she doesn't even show her face. Bitch, I can show my face anytime I want, bitch. Yeah, so everyone needs to change from red, you, you know, because everyone bought their red lipstick to do their parodies of me. Now we're doing pink. We're doing pink with iridescent blue and purple. Okay? So now if you do a like a red parody of me, it's not, I mean, it's, it, it's not going to make sense. So everyone needs to go buy this. It's Revlon. And uh, yeah, we're going to switch it up. We're going to do pink now. I mean, oh, sorry, I have a caller. Live with Dree. Oh, sorry, I have a caller. 
Hello. How are you? Good. How are you? Who is this? This is a child support guy. What's up, child support guy? How are you? I'm great. I just want to let you know that you are beautiful. Um, well, I'm thank glad you're doing this. So, just being yourself and just, <clears throat> I want to welcome you to another glorious day on this planet. And I'm just, you know, as a black man, I have no bias against any white woman. You know what I'm saying? And I just want to extend my warm wishes your way because you deserve it. Well, thank you. I mean, I truly appreciate that. So what's going on with you today? What What's got you? Well, I got the white side popping over here. Uh, all of these ladies who are like hideous looking, they're they have Jealous. they have my name in their dick sucker, and it stays there. But that's free promo. You know what I'm saying? Let them keep hating. The more of them bitches you got, the better off you're doing. So just keep doing your job. <laughs> Stay on your job. Don't stop. I know. Thank Stay you. On your job. I know. I mean, like, I think that they, I, it's like, to me, it's like, haven't they learned already that nothing's gonna, like, affect me? I'm still gonna be on this bitch, you know? Like, I'm not going anywhere. Pretty much, that's, that's how I get that, too. I get it a lot, though. I'm, I'm, I, I'm considered racist towards black women, so, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I've been called coons and... All type of shit, but the only thing I do is I call shit how I see it, and you know, the, the, the part about it, you just can't deny it because it's true. I don't get on there and talk shit, so when you got facts, when you doing your shit, and motherfuckers don't like it, that don't mean stop, that don't mean bow down, like, okay, they don't like it, you get out your way. Nah, I'm stronger than that. Keep hating. Well, I know, I've, I have heard about you. I've uh, heard, you know, that you don't support your race and, you know, the females and all that stuff, but... Yeah, that's, that's incredibly wrong, but, yeah, they, you know, people gonna hate us, gonna hate and say all type of shit that's not true about you, so you can't stop it, and if you heard some negative shit about me, you probably might believe that shit, you know what I'm saying? It depends on what type of person you are, because I look at a person's character, I see what a person is about before I judge them, you know what I'm saying? And if I tell a person that they're a nigga bitch, they're a nigga bitch, not because... I'm being racist toward a skin color is because your actions or anything that you have going on with your life that has negative qualities, I speak on it, and bitches don't like that. Well, I mean, you know, if that's how you feel, you gotta stand in your truth. Listen, my, my dream, my dream, mm -hmm. is for every black man on the planet to experience what God put on this planet as the head and not the tail. White women are awesome. White women are different. White women and black men make magic. When I walk through the streets, I sometimes see interracial relationships. And every time I see a black guy with a white woman, this dude is happy. She's happy. He's smiling. She's smiling. He looks 10 years younger than what he actually is. I mean, it's some amazing shit going on. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, you you have a right to your opinion. Hey, did you know that I bald in college? I'm like 5'11". Right. And I would take your ass to the rack. Me? <laughs> yes. You think so? I'm just talking shit. I'm just talking shit. Let me say, hey, listen. My dream is to, you know, spend one day find a white woman, a beautiful white woman who got the same uh, thing like me. I've never been with a white woman. Really You've never been with a white woman? No, never. It's a dream, man. Well, I mean, 
there's plenty of white women that I know that only date black guys. Where are they? Well, are you on the East Coast or the West Coast? I'm in Miami, Florida. Oh. Well, on the West Coast, I mean, you know, we got the Kardashians, you know, all that shit. So, so they, you know. You're fucking me up right now, man. Damn, man. That's like, that's crazy. That is so crazy, man. Like, how to, how to, what, what kind of, what kind of, what kind of a dog would. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. No racist shit in my scope. You'll be blocked if you fucking say anything. No racist fucking comments. Let everybody speak. No racism. Okay, okay. You can speak. So you saying that if, like, let me ask you a question. Can I ask you a question and be frank with you? Sure. Will you be honest with me on this one? I mean, this yeah. Is, if, can people in scope hear me? They can hear me in person? Yes. Yes, they can hear you. Okay. Have you ever been with a black man? I. Okay. <laughs> it's kind of a. You know. Okay, I. Fuck it. No, 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 no. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Um. The. The first guy that I hooked up with in college. Um. He, well, not even, like, hooked up, like, sex, but, like, hooked up, like, you know, kind of, like, messing around a little bit. Well, he was black, and he had, like, his dick was the size of, like, my pinky. And I was like, whoa, this ain't right. This ain't right. What? Yes, that was my, that was my first experience of even, like, and he was literally the size of a pinky. Um, and then I had a boyfriend that told me he was Puerto Rican, but he ended up being half white, half black, but he lied to me about his race. I don't know why. So technically, yes. Well, Well, on the West Coast, you know, it is, like, accepted and everywhere. Are they doing that shit for real? That's yep. The There's a lot of white women that love black guys on the West Coast. Well, I mean, to me, I mean, it shouldn't be hard to find one anywhere, you know? But you're saying that it is. It's, I, we're, like, okay, like, as a black guy, culturally, I am, um, what's the word I mean? I am culturally deprived when it comes to, you know, white people. You know, I, I come from a background that's different from white people. So if I approach a white person, sometimes I can get taken out of context. And I'm only just trying to be humble or just trying to speak. You understand what I'm saying? Uh-huh. West Coast is way different. You're very, you're very, very correct. Okay. All right, well. Maybe the West Coast is where it's at. Yeah, I mean, it's here, too. Don't get me wrong. It's, it's here, but not like how you stand. You making it seem like it's a movie out there, motherfucker. Well, I mean, the Kardashians kind of put it on the map on the West Coast. So. And to me, it's not about, you know, it's not about color. It's about how, you know, you're treated and... Exactly. I would, I would, I would, I would gladly be with a, a, a woman of color if she was the right woman. If she, if she handled herself in a way that, you know what I'm saying, you know, but like 
like I say, you know, I'm, I'm surrounded by these ratchet blunders and the cooters and chiches, and they are, they are highly out of control. And I don't know. I don't know what to do. I just, I don't deal with them. You know, life is too short. You know what I'm saying? Amen. God put, God put white women on top for a reason. You know? And I just want to let you know that I appreciate you having me on this phone call. I want to go back in my scope and look at you. Okay. Well, I mean, I really appreciate you calling in. It was nice meeting you. And yeah. I will go into your scopes and say hi. No problem. Thank you, baby. Okay. Thank you for calling. I've had a lot of missed calls. I've had a lot of calls come in, so if you've been calling, call back. We got the thin red line flag behind me for the fire department. Unknown number, here comes a troll. Live with Dree. Oh, they hung up. Oh, unknown number. Here we go. Live with Dre. Oh, yes, corazón. Yo soy de El Salvador. ¿Quieres estar conmigo o qué? No hablo inglés. I mean, español. No hablo inglés ni El Salvador. ¿Y dónde está tu compadre? Oh, um, I'm sorry. I don't understand what you're saying. Sorry. I don't understand what he's saying. And he, he said something about El Salvador, and I don't really want to speak on that. Unknown caller, here we go. Live with Dre. How you doing, Dream? Hello, who is this? English, too. A good English. Oh, okay, I'm good. From, I'm from El Salvador. Oh, you are? I've this, yeah, I've been in this country for... Maybe 28 years. Nice. Are you on Scope? Excuse me? Do you have a Scope yes. account? Yes. Do you have a wife what on are, Scope? What are your results on being... On what? Hello? Hello, hi. Hello. I'm here. How you do? Like his wife or something's talking to him. ¿Cómo estás? Bien, you said. Mira. Mira. Corazón, deja, deja tu compadre y yo puedo estar contigo. Leave your friend and I can be with you. Wait, what? I can be with you. ¿Qué? Yeah. Leave your husband and I could be with you. Mm, no. Well, I'm a ride or die, bitch. Who? I, I said I'm a ride or die, bitch. Well, it's okay. So am I. How are you saying in English? You're a bastard. You're a bastard? Yeah, I could be your husband, too, if you want me to. You can be a bastard or my husband. Nice. You got all of it covered. Yes. Uh, you ready, ready to get married? ¿Quieres casar conmigo? No, but I have to go, but I really appreciate you calling in, though. But have a great night, okay? <laughs> Can someone cool call? <laughs> Trying to get it. Oh. Dude, I think that's fucked up what, what's going on right now at, at the border. Okay, unknown caller. Here comes a troll. Live with Dre. Hello. Yo, yo. This is all the motherfucking bandits out there. Is this HYT something? Who's HTY7? I don't have no idea what the fuck that is. Okay, who is this? Who is this? It's HTY motherfucking. What's up? 
I knew it was you. I knew it. How the fuck did you know that? Because I've heard your voice. You hear my voice. Okay. And it was only a matter of time until you called in. You call in like all the call in shows. What happened? I said you call into all the call in shows. I'll call in, I'll fucking talk to anybody. What's up? I'm gonna take fucking change to Howard Stern. I'm gonna email that motherfucker and let's get my works right now. Wait, what? You heard me? No, I didn't. Um, I, you're the guy that said, are you pregnant for like the first two months you were on the app? You, you, you sound pregnant right now, actually. You actually, you actually sound pregnant. I sound pregnant? Um, I sound pregnant right now. Um, have you seen your face? You yes, could never pull a bitch like me, ever in your fucking life. Okay, that was quick. That motherfucker's ugly as fuck. That motherfucker's a catfish too. Have you seen him, Scope? First of all, he looks like he might have a slight case of autism because he always wears these, like, headphones and he's like... I have to keep my headphones on. I gotta keep my headphones on. Full. I just put him in his place real quick. You're way cooler when showing your face. Thank you. Short bus candidate. Yeah. You're not, not gonna come in and... And, you know, the thing I don't understand about him is that, like... Why has he got to be a dick? Is he mad because he's that ugly or what? But at first I was like, oh, okay. And then I saw a scope and I was like, he looks nothing like his fucking picture. I was like, well, ain't this a damn shame. The phone lines are open. No, I am sober. I'm drinking Dr. Pepper. I haven't had a drink in four years and six months. Oh, here we go. We have a phone call. Live with Dree. Hello. Hello? What's up, Dree? What's up? I just, just got no periscope and I just had to I think I know who this is. Uh, I said I think I know who this is. Uh, who am I? Can I guess? Yes, yeah, you can guess. Streets. Uh, Streets. King? Streets. No, nah, this is King Gates. Wait, who? King Gates. Oh, I don't know you, honey. Oh, uh, yeah, I know. Hi. Uh, is that a problem? No. Uh, no. So what are we talking about today? Um, well, a lot of uh, bitches who are over 50, overweight, and ugly are hating on me, like usual. So I thought I'd go live. Thank you. Well, I mean, like, the thing is to me is, is, is like, if I see a beautiful woman, I, I, I compliment them, you know, I, I compliment them, I empower them, you know. Yeah. Exactly. Um, so are you my uh friend on Periscope?
I'm a follower. I've been a follower for a while. Do you... Oh, okay, okay. So you're not like a broadcaster. Mm, yeah, I broadcast a couple of times, but mine disappears as soon as they... As soon as they... I mean, after, after I uh, put them on, you know? Okay. Uh, you know, even I, I don't do no crazy and all, you know, and shit like that. I just, I just speak my mind, you know what I'm saying? They don't fucking know where I'm coming from, you know, my own opinions or whatever. They don't like to kick my ass. But, uh... Okay, well, uh, what's going on with you tonight? What's going on with me tonight? Well, not too much. I'm just chilling. I need to be getting out on a Friday, but, you know, just trying to hang around because I'm kind of tired. I've been kind of busy all week. Yeah. Really relaxing. Hey. I'm really enjoying myself. Not since I've called in on this show. Yeah, there we go. calling in trying to be positive. I hope some more folks can call in and actually be fucking positive, you know what I'm saying? Just because you have such a cool personality and, and great spirits and I hate to see these knucklehead assholes calling in again like that. But uh you know, you just keep your head and keep on doing what you're doing. You're gonna stay stay ahead and tell them they can kiss they you know what I'm saying? Kiss kiss your ass and they can kiss mine too. <laughs> Thank you. I really but, appreciate your yeah, that's what Okay, have a great night. Thank right. you for calling in. And tell them, any the motherfucker got something to say, you got a small ass coming, tell them, come see me. Come see King Ace. I'm in Memphis. You know what I'm, I'm one of the real, real kings in Memphis. You know what I'm saying? And if anybody, anybody got something to say about my girl, fuck y'all. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Get in. Okay, honey. <laughs> I love you guys too. Phone line's open. I've had a lot of missed calls during my phone calls, so I'm sorry about that. But I don't want to, like, hang up with, you know. We have a block number. Let's see. Live with Dree. Hey, Dree. I remember you. I know your, your husband, Javier. And you want to be my, my wife? Okay, can you please I'm stop calling? Can you please stop calling me? Um, I'm I'm not interested, okay? This is the first time that I see your face. You always put something else. I always have a black screen. Yes, I know. And now today we see your face. And, and have you had people watching you? We go a long way back. I mean, have you? From where? Well, he's a Salvador, and um, you, you, I met you before, and you know where, and I'm Puerto Rico. Mm. Okay. Epa, epa, chévere. Okay, well, I have to give everyone a turn tonight, okay? So have a great night, okay? Oh, no, guys. I don't know. This might have been a bad idea, guys. <laughs> I love, okay, can I have a, a woman call in? Can I get a woman caller? <laughs> okay, we have another call. You're live with Dree. Hi, Dree. Well, hello there. Sorry, how are you? Good. Who am I speaking to? Brian. Do I know you, Brian? Oh, okay. So you just happen to see me live? Mm -hmm. yep. Do you broadcast? Oh, uh, no, but I check out Periscope now and then. Okay. So what's going on tonight? Oh, I like your face and your pretty lips. My face and my pretty lips. My lips are actually real, by the way. They, I, I've, I've had no injections. Everyone claims to think that I've had e injections, but if you could see, like, lips that have been injected, like, they look fake. I think they're nice. 
Well, thank you, um, but I gotta take the next caller, okay? Thanks. Can I ask you a question before you go? Okay. What do you think about a foot massage? A foot massage? Oh, he said, open feet, no, bye, open feet. He said, what do you think about a foot massage? Oh, Lord, you guys, this is getting kind of creepy. BK, call in. Someone I know, please call in. Please save me. Live with Dree. Hey, Dream. I'm not creepy. Oh, hell no, no. Do, 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 do. I need to block that number. He called back, you guys. <laughs> Don Law, this was your idea. And I'm getting nothing but creeps calling me. Okay, here's another one. Live with Dre. Hello? Hi, Dre. Hi. My name is Tweety Hart. Uh, Tweety Hart on scope? Oh, okay. Um, do you have like a cartoon? Oh, I think um, I basically like one of those things that kind of Oh, okay. <laughs> I just wanted to introduce myself. Oh, oh hi, honey. Well, I, I appreciate you calling in. You're welcome. I bet I got a, a woman who should call in. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for saving me. <laughs> Thank You're you for welcome. saving me. <laughs> so. Beautiful, by the way. Oh, thank you, honey. I really appreciate that. Thank well, you. I just wanted to tell you that. Oh, I appreciate that. You're welcome. How was your 4th of July? Good. Very nice. Are you on the West Coast or the East Coast? Okay, okay, so is it, like, cold over there still? Because in California, it stays warm. Like, on Christmas, it was, like, 85 over here. Really? Yeah. Hi, Ricky. <laughs> so, what do you think about all these women that have so much to say about me? Well, I'm just finding this out, and I think it's terrible. Um, I mean, come on. I know I'm the beauty queen, but come on. I know. I know. Get a life. And I hate... Like, I always pick up for people, and they know who they are on, on here. So I'll say specific names, backing this person all the time. Well, the thing with Brandy is that I was in a scope, and all I said was, like, I was laughing. I said, like, hi, Brandy, LOL, and I did emoji cons. That's the only thing I did. And then she scoped, and she's like, fuck you, Dre. And so I said, whoa, Brandy, like, damn, like, okay, nobody can say laugh, laugh out loud. Nobody can say, you know, emoji, you know. And then she did that parody, and I was like, damn, you're triggered as fuck. Like, Get fucked, yeah. Brandy. Go get fucked, please, and like release some energy. I think it's freaking hilarious. She triggered her, and she admitted to it. <laughs> That's freaking hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, I appreciate your support, especially that you're a woman, because I mean, I do have some, you know, great supporters that are women, but I do have a lot of, you know, haters, which. You know, who and and a majority of them have never talked to me, never had a like a, like a conversation or a message or a DM. They have just joined the mob mentality and then they just joined the group. Aww. So. I don't know why people talk about it. She's like a really nice person. You're beautiful. Aww. Nice. I hope you follow me back. Yes. Well, um, if you let me know who you are, you can write me a message on Instagram and you can let me okay. know and then I will make sure to follow you back. Okay. Well, it's Katie Hart or, and then come up with 
Okay. Um, my name is in my bio. Okay. Okay. Have a wonderful night. I really appreciate you calling in. Thank you, sweetie. Bye-bye. Thank you. John Coop, why don't you call in? Cooper. Cooper. Oh, we got another call. Live with Dree. Dree, it's Donna. <gasps> Hi, you. Hi, how are you? Oh my God, I love you. What are you doing? Uh, doing my first calling. Well, I just wanted to call and say you look so pretty. Aww. Someone you... told me to call in. I said I couldn't call in. Aww. But I do have a question. Why yeah. Why does everybody feel like I've been over a year? That's been a year. I know, right? I'm like old news. I'm like Hot. played out. What was that? I said I'm old news. I'm like played out. Take it as a compliment. That's what I would do, personally. Well, so. you know all about it, so. So if they're not hating you, you ain't doing anything right, okay? I know, right? All right, I just want to call and say hi. Hi, uh, everybody. I can't see comments, but all right. <laughs> I love you. Love you, too. Be good, okay? Okay, babe. Okay, babe. Bye. Okay. I love Donna. I love Donna's mom, too. She's a sweetheart. Love Donna's mom. Mom. Okay, we got a block call. Live with Dree. Bueno. Hello. Hi. Hi. Is this Dree? Is this Molly? Yeah, it is. Um, I think I already know your point of view, but what would you like oh, to say? Well, you get a big fuck you. That's what you get. A big fuck you. Look on the screen right now, Molly. Look on the screen right now. This is for you. This is for you. This is for you, Molly. Look on the screen. Okay. <laughs> I control who I want to talk to. Damn, she's calling me too? So it's not enough that this bitch just scopes like 10 times about me a day. This bitch wants to talk, talk to me too? Bitch. I'm not interested in talking to you. Oh, unknown number. You're live with Dree. Why don't you let me talk to you? Let's just talk about I don't, that you I don't care. You, you don't let anybody talk. Shut your fucking dick sucker. Shut your fucking dick sucker, okay? Jesus, you don't let anybody fucking talk. That was fun. Molly is... Yo, Molly is a single white female. Okay, I got another call, guys. Live with Dree. Hello, who is this? It's Hello, who is this? Who? Oh. The men are out tonight, you guys. The men want a piece of Dree. Well, at least I got the male support on a uh, scope. I think that's oh my god, I think this might be our stalker, guys. You're live with Dre. Double Dre, what's going on, babe? What's up? Who is this? Double Dre, who calls you Double Dre? Ah, oh, Johnny. What's going on? I'm your Uma. I know you're Uma, Uma, but now I'm going to get in trouble by a few of my very friends. Why? First of all, shout out to John Coop. Hey, John Coop. John Coop's my man. 
I meant Florida on my condo, man. Really? Yeah, I bought a condo here. You bought one? What? I'm at the ocean right now. Damn. Hold on, guys. I lived six months here and six months in Toronto. Wow. Here in the summer of Toronto. Congratulations. Yeah, I came yesterday, so I'm here for two weeks. Then I'm going to head back to Toronto tomorrow. I'm going to go get a car. I, I found an Audi SUV. I'm going to buy that tomorrow. What? So I'll be here when I'm here. Johnny I'm Bats is coming here. up. I'm going to retire here, man. I mean, I, back, I went for dinner. We went down to, uh, uh what's it called? The town of, the, the town of Jupiter. Uh, okay. Then I turned on Periscope. I see you had a call and I said, let me call Double Tree. Double Tree. That's right. Have, uh, you, um, hung out with Yeti down there? No, man. No, I'm two hours away. I'm at, uh, I'm at West Palm Beach. It's about an hour and a half away. I might go down to, uh, South Beach uh, next week for dinner at my buddy's place. Oh, yeah. Okay. Take a two-hour drive. No, I'm not hanging out with anybody from Paris. Go and enjoy my time off. Good. This is what this is what you get when you work every day and you wake up at six in the morning and you don't have to carry bag. You know what I'm saying? I know, right? So I made a decision whether I got to give to the Perry beggars or I got to buy a condo for eight hundred thousand U.S. in West Palm Beach. So guess what decision I made? Don't give to the Perry beggars. Eight hundred thousand? Damn, Johnny Bats. It's a million Canadian, man. You rolling deep? I'll pay. This is my retirement home, man. This is where I'm gonna retire. <gasps> hey, how's your doggy? Very good. You need a scope or more? Mm -hmm. Well, congratulations, my friend. So what's with all this drama yet that's going on? Man? It was quite down for a while now. My friend Brandy's coming after you. My friend Crafty Beast will go after you. Everybody's coming I mean, after I'm like played out. I mean, I'm tired of seeing myself on the timeline. Oh. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Like, I'm friends with everybody. I don't give a fuck. I mean, to me, it's like, you know, just let me be. Leave me alone. Well, they should. Everybody should just leave. But, I mean, like, the thing is, is it's like, what everybody do they... should let everybody go. Yeah, I mean, but Not it's like... You. They should let everybody go. What do they think they're going to, like, accomplish? Oh, well, by the way, say hi to Fly Girl for me. Hi, Fly Girl. Hi, Fly Girl, says Johnny Bats. But... Fly Girl. She hasn't done nothing to nobody, but everybody else on the I know. Her. She's had a really bad rap, too, I know. Yeah, I mean, like, it's just, I think everybody should just let everybody go. Look at me, I'm not even hardly on that much. I'm going to smoke tonight just because I'm on my patio. Oh. I'm to the beach today. You should. I'm already tired of the sun. It's too hot here, but I'm saying it. I don't even come on that much. I'm just, it bores me. It bores all this. Kids are fucking fighting. Drunk kids. Yeah. Well, I mean... I would like to move on, you know? And I thought you did move on a few months ago. I know, I know, like and then... Lot did good for himself. He wasn't bothering anybody, and he got a lot of new friends and this and that, right? Well, I mean, I'm not looking for friends on here, though, because I really don't I want know, friends. What I'm saying is just, everybody should just let everybody go. I, I support that. I mean, today in Jeff's scope, I said, Jeff, I, I agree i will agree to whatever i need to agree to because i want you know f like end it. it it's like it has played itself out i did i thought i thought it played itself out a while back and i thought you're doing good not bothering nobody but every time you're scoping people decide to scope you exactly yeah. and you and know listen listen i don't i don't i'm friends with everybody and i know everybody's gonna give me shit Right, so like, you know, I, I'm I just like seeing what you get. Hundred people attacking you, mm -hmm. right? And I don't know why they're attacking you. Like, people are saying you're a bitch, you're a liar, this and that. Well, everybody on Periscope's a liar. Fact. There's not one person on Periscope that tells the truth. Fact. I lie too, and I lie a lot. That's part of Periscope. Listen, if you don't want to be dogs, if you don't want to be people find out what you really do in life and everything else, then you lie what you do so that they don't find out what you're doing. 
everybody lies. Everybody lies. Yeah. And all these Perry beggars make me sick. Like, you know, like, I know you're friends with Keen and all others, but Keen is the biggest fucking Perry beggar around. But I mean... And sooner or later, sooner or later, his gravy train is going to end. He's going to end up on the fucking street. For fucking Keen money. doesn't beg, though. He's, no, he like, doesn't. given money. No, people give him money. Yeah, they get, but he, he is, doesn't but beg no for one. anything, though. So that's different. No, he asked for it. He asked for it. They all just they came like Matty Rath, right? What he does to fucking women on Periscope, and then he bullshits, and he talks bad about them and everything else. You know, he's going to do the same thing with Amanda. What do you think, think about Pink thing? doing that to Carrie? What did Pink do? She's with John Burkle now. Oh, yes? Yep. Well, Pete's an idiot. Okay. He's an idiot. He's the fucking biggest fucking goof on Periscope. So yeah. If he wants to be with John Burkle, well, let him be. He's the biggest fucking goof around. Yeah. To me, I, I'm minding my own business. Well, I mean, you're kind of starting drama right now in the phone call, but... Well, I don't give a fuck. I just came to say hi. Well, ask you, are those really real? Yes. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I show I one get, body I scope. Get, I, get, I show one body scope, and he will not. He calls me Double D Dree now. <laughs> but here, I'm gonna say something. To you. Okay. John Tunsil, and this, this, this as a friend, I'm not gonna say anything bad. John Tunsil, with his puppets, are really funny, and you liked it at the beginning. Yeah, but you then don't say you did it. when no, he he does it, but and he keeps doing it. But it's, it's funny. It's like okay, remember when you did the and I always say this when you did that <laughs> that thing of, of Elise and you had the mold on your face. <clears throat> you were the most liked Periscope for a month. Everybody loved you. Everybody showed your your thing what you did about Elise because everybody hated Elise. Everybody I know, but it was and, one time. It you. was one time. And everybody scope. I know it was one time when. You came in everybody's scopes, they all loved you. They all talked about you. They all played your fucking scope that you did. Yeah. And it was a great scope. It was funny. But, okay, but what what really changed my mind about John Tunstall is when he um, had the puppet acting like it OD'd on pills. Well, first of all, you know, to bring this kid up and everything else, it's not right. So, well, you know, I mean... The guy, the guy's doing... He does puppets of a lot of people. So, no, he does. Uh, oh, he, he John, does. Johnny Bats. Johnny Bats. Eighty-five percent of his puppet. And no, no, no. He's Gina Baby's bitch. When she says, "I want a new show," he fucking jumps and does it. It's anytime she wants it. I like it. It's really funny. You should be privileged that it's funny. And she's the only one that laughs. No, I laugh on some of them, but I think. I think they're corny as fuck. Oh, I don't know. I just, I just like do not find it funny. Listen, I don't like how people are attacking people, like especially you and there's somebody attacking me, even though they're my friend. Mm hmm. Right? So I'm not taking sides. Uh, I'm just letting you guys fight it out yourselves. Like, I'm not going to get involved. It's all good, though. Yeah, it's all okay. good. Listen, no one's coming to your house. They're not coming. You're not going to their house. Exactly. People talking at Periscope, it's a nap, and people just talk. You'll never meet them in real life. They'll never meet you in real life. They'll never come to your house. They're not going to do nothing. It's all just a fucking game. It's just a game of keeping people interested in watching Periscope. That's all it is, man. Yeah. Nothing else, you know what I'm saying? So you can do whatever you want to them. They can do whatever they want to you. At the end, at the end of the year, nothing happens. It's the same shit always over with. Nothing happens at all. True. Like, so, you know, it's like, I just, I watch it. I watch yours replay. Like, you get on, I get on. You know I mean? And like you said, I was in Gina's school. Why did I say anything? Because I just, I'm, I'm listening. I'll listen. I know, but. I'm a crappy peace, peace scope. I will joke with her, but it's not like I will take her side if she's going after you and saying something bad to you. 
I know, but if you hear a clear lie, if I was in a scope and I heard a clear lie about you, I would say something. Yeah, if it was a real lie, like, when I see what they're doing with you, I know it's just, it's just them shooting their shit off, right? It's just, and I know you can handle it, and you yeah. go back and you hit them back again, right? Mm -hmm. So it's, like, it's, it's not like you're hiding in a corner and you're, you're hiding away from them because you don't have the balls to go after them. You still go after them, and you go after them stronger than they come after you. Amen. Right? And that's why I don't. I really don't need to back you up because you can you can take care of yourself, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm not gonna back up anybody no more. I'm Periscope. You know, I'm tired of that. I'm just I go out there, I'll listen, and I'll joke around, right? I'm just that's the way I am. But I'm not gonna take sides just because I'm in crafty peace and she's scoping about you. Means I'm taking her side over you. No, no, you're scoping. I you're talking about this person, that person. I'm I'm not gonna. No, Johnny, I know that you and Crafty P have like a, you know, like a, you know, you joke with her and she jokes with you. I, I yeah. totally get it, you know? But how come you have a limited chat and I can't get in there? Because half of the time I just don't want to deal with the fucking idiots. But I had to block you one time because you called me Double D Dre and... What's wrong with that? I always called you that. Because I, because you shouldn't really be saying that. Like, why? Well, it's kind of. You're not proud? Yes, but. <laughs> so, Jesus. So what, is, what is the problem with me calling you double D3? Well, There's I don't. What's wrong with it? I'm not saying it's behind your back. Yeah, that's true. That's something between me and you. Yeah. I called you Uma Therma, and everybody started calling you Uma Therma. That was between me and you. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's not like I, I say it behind your back at other people's folks. Right? True. I say it just to you. When I come in, I say, hi, double tree. Nothing wrong with that. Well, well, I like, I'm just saying, like, if you happen to see you blocked, it's because I, you know, kind of had to. But, I mean, I always unblock you. I know that. So, you know I love you. Hey, listen, I'll tell you the truth. I know a lot of people are going to fucking throw up or they're going to be jealous or they're going to be pissed. Out of all the women on Periscope, you're in the top ten. Yeah? Of hot women. How's that? Aww. That's the truth. That's the honest truth. Out of the women in Periscope, I'll put you in the top ten. Thank you, Johnny. I really and appreciate that's the that. the honest truth. And now I know I'm going to get shipped by Brandy and everybody else because I said it. But you're in the top ten. How's that? Thank you, Johnny Bats. I I appreciate it. Now stop fucking around. Leave these fucking people alone. Keep going through your life. <laughs> you oh. like I do enjoy my life. Okay. I went to Macy's today. And you bought what? I bought some tops and shorts. Mmm. Clothes to keep here. Come back, Did you buy some uh, Tommy Bahama? I bought a lot of Tommy's in Florida. You know... Because that's the, you know, the popular brand for no, gentlemen no, your age. Not for me. Not for me. No, what my age? Are you kidding me? I got some nice tops. Okay, Johnny. Johnny. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. How old are you? Yeah. Be honest. If, if you guess, you can keep this phone number of mine. This is my American number I called you. Oh, okay. And actually, people have this number. It's not a Google number. This is actually my U.S. number. So oh, okay. You, you could call me any time on this number. Oh, okay. I have a Canadian number and I have a U.S. number, so you can hey, call me any time on this Hey, do you know that I have dual citizenship? Yeah, no, I, I, I was American. I was born in Chicago. Then moved to Canada. I have, a dual, I have American and Canadian uh, citizenship. The most beautiful place in Canada is a Victoria Island. I was there. That place there is amazing. When they had the Winter Olympics. Yes, that that place, in person, I was I like, I probably was like thirteen or fourteen. That place is. Have you driven up to Whistler? Oh yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. That is a beautiful 
So, I mean... And, you know what, for the Olympics, what they did, I don't know if you saw Vancouver, Hastings Avenue, all the bombs there. Mm-hmm. They shipped those to Vancouver Island for the Olympics. Really? And then they brought them back, yeah, because they didn't want them, because the, the Olympics, Winter Olympics as well, and they didn't want people to see Hastings Avenue and all the bombs on the street. <gasps> really? Yeah, they shipped them to uh, Vancouver Island. Wow. And then they brought them back after the Olympics. Wow, that's that's crazy. Yeah, my friend owns the Pacific Rim Hotel, but you know where that movie star got the hunt killed himself? Which one? The guy that killed himself in Vancouver in the, the Hotel Pacific Rim. That's my buddy's uh, hotel. Ouch. Yeah. That sucks. I'm sorry. No, I, I don't know. I, mean, I think the guy was in Glee or something, right? Wasn't he in the movie star there? Yeah. I don't know. I don't, I mean. Kill himself in there. Ooh. That's horrible. So it happens when we got a lot of pressure. I mean, I honestly think that my haters uh, want me to kill myself, but that's never going to happen. Mm-hmm. Because not yeah. very, not very many other people, Johnny, Hello. could. Johnny? Hello? Johnny? Yeah. Not very many other women could take the heat that I take. That's what I said. That's why I would need to back you up. You could back yourself up. True that. You know what I'm saying? Like, if your enemies are my friends, you know what I mean? So I'm not going to take sides because, you know what? Hey, listen, they get pissed at me and block me because I called you on your thing. And they go fuck themselves just like Tiny Peen did when I was friends with Don Lada. He decided to fucking block me because I wouldn't, I wouldn't block Don Lada. You know, don't tell me what to do. Yeah. Right. So if someone gets mad at me and wants to block me because I did a call, I called in your call-in show, then you know what? They could do it. I really don't give a fuck because I did nothing wrong. Well, I mean, I would like to have a conversation because... Most of these women have never even talked to me. They've never messaged me. They've That's never what talked saying. to me. A lot, of them, a lot of them, you did nothing wrong to them. Yeah, exactly. They right. just like, joined the bandwagon. They became sheep. Yeah, it's, it's a bandwagon. It's like, listen to this. When Elise, when everybody was was attacking Elise, you know, that Christmas when Diddy and his wife had the problems, and it was the January, February, everybody was after Elise. Everybody uh-huh. hated her. And I said, I got to back her up, and I backed her up. Did you know that now Elise has blocked me? Really? On Twitter and on Facebook. Why? I backed her up. So, you know why? Because what? now I'm in Nina's scopes. And she said, I guess she doesn't like the idea of me being in Nina's scopes, so she blocked me. Well, you know what, Elise? You go fuck yourself because I really don't care. You blocked me because of that. Go fuck yourself. She had some excuse that I did something on Twitter. I did. I don't do those games. I don't play games on Twitter. I don't play this shit. You know what I'm saying? You block me because I was in Nina Scopes. Well, you want know go fuck yourself. I don't need you. And I don't need to watch you. Well. And anybody else that wants to block me, go fucking block me. I really don't give a fuck. There you go there. Well, that's what happens, right? You know, I'm not backing nobody up. I'm just in people's scopes. Yeah. I don't want to take sides. I'm not taking sides. Right? And that's how it's going to be. Hey, I didn't have to call in and say hi to you. No, no but... I'm friends with Brandy and I'm friends with... 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 Uh, Crap DT. Yeah, right? but... I didn't, like... I came in and called and say hi to you. You know, it's like we're all grown adults. It's like... It's like kindergarten. Like, if you start that's saying, like... You fight your own battles and you fight it. Yeah. You don't need anybody else. Right? Exactly. I think you've been doing good for the last year fighting your own battles. Thank you. And I don't think you're going to stop. <laughs> so you just, and they got to realize you're not going to stop. So yeah. either they're going to shut up and don't worry about it. I think Crafty is tired of you and she doesn't want you talking about her. Well, and she... I think if you stop talking about Crafty, I think she'll stop talking about you. She, she tried to stop talking about you, but you keep bringing her up. I think... <laughs> No, 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 no. She, she, she stopped talking about me, and then I saw her talking shit in Genoscope one night, and I was like, "Really, Crafty? Like, we were like not even speaking on each other." And then I saw her making comments, and I was like, "Oh well, I guess she wants some more of me." So, 
Yeah, but she wasn't scoping about you. Yeah, yeah, but she was talking shit. Yeah, but who sees that? Me? Not too many. Not Me? Just you. I know. So. But I'm going to take the next caller, okay, Johnny? All right, Tree. Thank you for calling. You have my number if you ever want to call. Okay. Enjoy Miami. Not Miami. Oh. So, uh, West Palm Beach. West Palm Beach. Enjoy West Palm Beach, honey. Thanks. Okay, Johnny. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Lose the number. Well, hey, if anyone wants to speak their mind about anybody else on Scope, you can also call in and just say what you got to say to whoever you got to say. Dude, this list of callers is crazy. But nobody's calling in right now. Molly doesn't even let me talk. Molly's looking for an apology, and it's not going to happen. So let the bitch fucking run out of fucking batteries. I mean, if... I mean, she doesn't have a job. You know, maybe she needs to find a job. But if attacking people is what she wants to do, l let her have it. But I literally, like... I, I don't give a fuck. Don't give a fuck. And I will continue to say your name wrong. So, anyone else would like to call in? Now's your time. It looks like I do give a fuck. Oh, yeah, because, you know. Do you know how many bitches have scoped about me today? Do I look phased? Don't think so. Yeah. Whoever wants to call in and talk about anything, I'm going to give you the platform. Whatever you want to talk about. That was weird, though. I hope it's not the slightest. No, I mean, you know, I'll, like, I think it's really unfortunate that people had to write Jeff and leave him nasty messages and stuff. I think that's just very, you know, I mean, Jeff has already gotten the raw end of the stick on this app. Um, and I think it's bullshit that... He got messages because he just wanted things to end, you know? Jeff NYC, he actually got fired from his job because of Scope. And he's like, he's like a Nelda, you know? He's like a Nelda. They're like nice as hell. They go into everybody's scopes. They hear all the drama and they just, you know, stay neutral. Oh, new call. Here we go. You're live with Dre. Hi, Dre. It's Kristen. Hi, Kristen. Hey, fly girl. Fly girl, what's up? What's I up? I just wanted to say, Jeff is the sweetest guy ever. He really is. He is such a, like, he is so nice. I felt bad for him. Hey, Fly Girl, I I want to hear your take on Pink and uh, uh, Burkle. Oh, God. Why did you have to ask me that question? <laughs> oh, God. Because I want to hear it. I want to hear your uh, opinion. I really don't want to oh. comment. Oh, okay. I do and I don't. Well, if you don't, that's fine. But, I, you know, I just... No. Okay. I feel for her. Her scope is still up, so I feel for that woman. Um, and going off of what she said, she said that, you know, they, uh, Pink and, and John Burkle talk a 
on the phone, and um, his son cries to her and says that his dad and Pink talk, and, you know, it upsets him, and he plans on going to visit her, and I think it's fucked up. I do. But I don't... I don't know. I, I, does it surprise me? Do I, I put a patch her? No, I don't. I don't either. Yeah. But at least she's off of uh, Matty R's dick. Yeah. So. For now. For now. Yeah, right? Yeah. So, what about your situation? Are you single? ready to date just yet you know like mm. when you've been with a, a, a man for like five years you like it takes you a while to like I'm not ready no so yeah I of course picture myself being with another man just yet but I have the like the pot is here in the driveway and I've been like moving my stuff in so I'm moving into my new place August 2nd. <gasps> I'm going to North Carolina. August 4th is my birthday. Me and oh. Bella Booba have the same birthday. Oh, that's cool. And Barack Obama. Oh, my birthday's in August too. Bella Booba. August 27th. It's my girl. So. Yeah, so I'm excited. Good. Yeah, new beginnings. Hey, it's never too late to start again. I know. You know? I know. I'm excited. Good. Good. Yeah. You know, and I really hope, you know, the best for you. Because I appreciate that you were in the military and that you served for our country. And I give you much respect for that. You're very welcome. I appreciate that. I do. And you get a lot of hate on here just like I do, and it's tough. And it's, you know what's crazy? It seems like you get, like, the same females. Um, not all of them, but some of the same females that, like, the same names I hear you say are the same ones that I don't get along with either. So it's kind of comical at times yeah molly top and crafty gina baby uh lambo yeah. better pump her fucking brakes because i know who lambo is now and i i know all of the information that molly top has is from lambo and i'm about to say some names Yeah. Yeah. Mm. But. Okay, well, have a good night. You Thank too. you for calling in. You're welcome. Have a good night. Okay, honey. Bye. I'll, I'll talk to you soon. Okay. All right, bye. Bye. <gasps> Kimmy! There's my other uh, savage. Donna and Kimmy will always have a special place in my heart. Always. Keen, why don't you call in? And I love your mom, too. Your mom is so cute. Love your mom to pieces. She, like, loves, like, my makeup scopes. Where has Jay Diddy been? I don't know. Jay, I don't know. After that last scope, that was kind of weird. Um, he hasn't been around. He threw a four on scope last. A four? A fit? 
You police? Yeah. Why do you support Keen? He hates cops. Um... We don't have to agree on everything. Like, you know, I don't hate on Keen, and I'm not going to hate on Keen, so it's just how it is. I support Team Keen, and I support him. Yeah, I, you know, we're not going to agree on everything, you know. I show him respect, and, um, you know, he shows me respect, and it's all good. <laughs> Why do people support Brandy? She has three necks. At least she has, you know, a neck uh, definition. I showed you guys Leslie. Yikes. But why hasn't all my haters called in? Other than Molly. Because Molly just won't shut up. She'll just keep rambling and rambling. Like, she doesn't know how to have, like, dialogue. She'll just keep on talking. Like, if she could shut up and listen and then we can, like, exchange, you know. Now I talk. Now it's your turn. But she, she doesn't know that concept. So I'm just going to let her ramble in her own fucking scope. Long Island Ricky, somebody call in. Don't be scared. I know the haters are scared. What? Y'all were talking shit because I wouldn't show my face. I'm trying, you know, I'm showing my face, doing a call in. I'm not scared. Anybody can call in. There's a lot of Team Keenan here. Thank you for showing up, guys. I don't even know who, which one of you, the only one that I know that's a supporter is Skipper because she doesn't have the bandit, but that's actually smart that you guys did that because now they don't really know who's who, you know? So that was a smart move. Yeah. And you know, to me. You know, if people want to give Keen money, if, why why do you care? Why do you care? If if you know It's just so funny that it's just like people, you know, the minute he hung out with Chase Chrisley, I was like, "Oh shit." And it's like for them to write and Twitter and like they don't give a fuck about anybody on Periscope. They have bigger fish to fry. Bigger fucking fish to fry. And, you know, I don't know. I thought, but that's what they do. It's like they, it's like you're a grown ass, like Chase is a grown ass fucking adult. He knows Keen. He knows about Keen. He's choosing to hang out. He's choosing to be his friend. So you think you text or, or you Twittering his dad is going to, change his mind about hanging out with Keen? Like, they're grown adults. Like, we can't be telling on daddies and mommies. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, exactly. They they don't give a fuck about, you know, whoever's tweeting them. I just, you know, that's why um, I don't say, but my my big connection to uh LA and Hollywood is that my friend that I went to kindergarten with he owns a, a very famous restaurant in LA and TMZ is always there um it's it's a very popular place so that's how I have my connection to a lot of people in LA now I've already learned my lesson not to say anything you know any names because these people have no lives and they're going to tweet and Instagram and fuck sh stupid stupid but he and I went to kindergarten and he owns he owns it and he's the executive chef 
We can say what we, what? Yes. Anybody can say what you guys, hey, you can speak your mind on here. Say whatever you want to say. You know, everyone, I'm not going to, you know, if you got beef, you got, you know, a problem, speak your mind. Let them know. Oh, unknown number. Here we go. You're live with Dree. Hello? Hello. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm doing you guys with me, how are you? Who is this? This is, um, you know I am. I do? What's going on? <laughs> He's like, you know who I am. Click. Weird. Yeah, we've been a steady like 150 to 180. My haters are going to be so mad. Big mad. Big mad. Oh, really? That was HT. If he wants, I can help him with some, you know, therapy for his autism. Because the way he holds on to those headphones, that's like... He's, he might be on the spectrum, guys. Tree's about to get a gold badge. Uh, Gringo, call in. They're going to be mad to see Keenan and his bandits in here. Oh, yeah. But. Aw. Thank you. But I just really wanted to, like, show face today because I wanted to switch up the lipstick. Because you know all those bitches went out and bought red lipstick, right? To do their little parodies of me. Well, now they gotta, now they gotta switch it up to hot pink with iridescent and blue. We got a call. You're, you're live with Dree. Hey, girl. Just wanted to call you back and say congratulations on your numbers tonight. Aw, thank you, Dunlod. It's like all these haters say you can never, you tree can never get nobody in her skull. Yep. Look now. Love you guys. You look at all the people in your scope now, Dree. What's up with that? I know. What is up with that? All these people are gonna fucking gonna have a heart attack. They're gonna need uh, a 5150 stay. <laughs> I know, She's right? Gina's gonna lose her voice if that's possible. No, it's not possible. Because she will have that Pepsi to fucking chug down. Louis Leslie's gonna need oxygen. Oh, she's definitely gonna need a refill. Oh my god, these haters, but congratulations though. You're Thank doing a great job tonight. You have a new career too. You should do that make this a weekly thing, Dre. Yeah, I mean I think I will. I think I will. Yeah. You well, know? Someone else is calling, so I just want to say congrats, sweetie. I love you. Thank you, honey. I love you too, always. Yep. Okay, Don Long. Bye. I love him. That's my day 1A1 right there. We took on like 55 people one time. You're live with Dree. Bueno? I want someone from Team Keen to call in. You're live with Dree. Hey, it's 
Sixty dot nineteen. What? It's sixty dot nineteen. Come again? Sixty dot two nineteen. Okay, I I'm sorry. I didn't. If I don't understand you after three tries, you're gonna get a hang up. Sorry, guys. Just how it's gonna be. Oh, whoops. Call back. I'm sorry. Call back. <gasps> oh my god, I'm going to call her back. Call back. I'm sorry. I couldn't understand you. Sorry. I didn't mean to do that. I hope this is her. You're live with Dree. Hey, Dree. You know damn well Javier is your husband, Cabrona. What the hell you think you're playing with? Did you guys hear that? It was my stalker. Yeah, the bastard's back. So I guess he was trying to, like, flirt with me, and then that didn't work. So then he is now turning to insults. Are you live with Dree? I heard you want somebody from Team Jean to call in. Yo! Turn it up tonight. Yo! What up, Team Jean? Everybody else in here. And Dree. What's up? I mean, dang, show some love to Big Key now. Speak your mind. That's very true. That's very true. Never understand them. What's up, everybody? How y'all doing tonight? What is it, Friday, Friday, 13th? Something like that. Hey. Uh, 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 where were you this week? What was I this week? Yeah. I can't keep an account. I was probably getting my dick sucked or driving a Lamborghini or something. I don't know. I thought that you might have been on the cruise with Reem. Oh. Man, I'm not I'm not going on a fucking cruise thing. I don't go on cruises anyway. I get I get seasick anyway, so I ain't going on a fucking cruise. Damn look at these comments moving now. Now the haters are coming out. Yep. Everybody's coming from the lobby. Everybody wants to talk to Big King and Dre. <laughs> you know that you know, I'm the female Big King, you know. Okay. What's up, Katie Hearts? So what's up with all these haters going at you, Julie? Uh, well, there, there was... Goes Johnny Bass right there. Yeah. Glenn. He's here. Yeah, I see his little pussy ass. Dude sells weed for a living. Now, now he talks he talk shit about me, so I can speak some facts. Yeah, that. yeah, you, you can go right ahead. Broke ass kid, I know. How many times do I gotta prove 
that I lived the fucking life. You know, people, you, you would think that people, we were brought up to like, when, when people are, when people have it good, like, you, you, how can I say this? Periscope wants to put everybody down. They want everybody to be like on their level. But when they meet somebody, take take me for instance, that has their shit together, it's like, oh shit, we got to bring it down to our level. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, they don't want to see nobody, nobody good in life. Jealousy. Sad, sad fucking people on this app. Why does Keem beg? Why does Keem beg? I don't, I don't think I've ever begged for anything. I'm never starving, so why would I beg? Yeah, you've never begged. I actually brought a lot of my followers over to the Periscope, so I've been known, I've been known way before the Periscope. So a lot of these people have been followed before Periscope, so and they've and they've been given and and support me way before Periscope, so. Hey, 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 so... No begging, no begging. I don't need nobody to buy me no aquarium tickets or, <laughs> or fucking no cat rescue shit or anything like that. It's funny that they say I beg, but yet these motherfuckers come at me to to help them out. Take, for instance, Johnny Beatnet sleeping in his goddamn car, and he wanted me to get everybody to send me money. Really? So I got $100 sent to him in like 10 minutes, okay? And then Brandy goes live the other day and wants me to help out storm these fucking little cat rescue bullshit. It wants me to tell my followers, fuck out of here. None of my team, none of team King will ever support any of you motherfuckers. Like, that. <laughs> none of y'all. Because if they do, then they out. They out. I will kick them uh, completely out of goddamn Team King if, if they support any of my haters. We will support each other. That's it. I, yeah. Oh, so, so, can you remind me about your opinion about Brandy? My opinion on Brandy. That's what that's what she needs. She she truly needs some dick. But she, she likes girls. Person. She likes what? Her ex. She don't know what the fuck she likes. She don't. She like anything. At this point. <laughs> I was just gonna say that. I was just gonna say that. That bitch a fucking animal. She's that desperate. I mean. Uh, I'm reading some of these comments while they're going through her. Okay. Any questions for well, Keen? I, I kind of like I kind of like being behind the scenes. And by the way, I did get my tattoo uh, for everybody, and and we had that plan. We had that whole ordeal plan. I went and asked everybody in a, in a group chat if mm -hmm. uh, I should do that. So we all agreed to that GoFund before I even did it. And everybody's like, "Yeah, do it." And to raise seven hundred fifty dollars in four hours that's that's crazy. That's amazing. Yeah. Um, so, Crafty P had on her face, I think she had, like, a spider web. I don't fuck with that Crafty P bitch. She is one crazy bitch, huh? You, you fuck with her? I talk shit about her. I fucking bury her every day. No, I don't fuck with that shit. <clears throat> Can you wrap your head around the fact that a gay, there are gay people. I don't have any, I don't have a problem with gay people. Put money in my PayPal. I'll go buy a gay person a drink right now at the club. If y'all want to see some shit like that, when can we see your new tattoo? It's funny that everybody that didn't that didn't contribute to the tattoo, they they're the ones that want to see the tattoo. It's crazy. Well, well, I mean, I would like to see the transfer that Nina made for the diapers, but we ain't gonna see that either. Oh, yeah, we never heard about that. Nope. We never heard about that. Never saw that. Yeah, she. Pull two little scams right there, real quick. Yep. And like I said last night when I was live, I don't know if a lot of y'all heard this shit, but in Florida, you can uh, you can get those tickets practically for nothing. That Nina's trying to get money or was trying to get money for aquarium tickets and shit. You can get that shit. Wait, wait, what? Oh, you got? Yeah, you can get those tickets for free in, in Florida. And plus, she's got family that lives in Florida, so therefore they get like sixty or seventy percent off of anything that's in Florida. If you got a Florida license, you can get all that shit discounted. She was asking for money for tickets? Yes, to take her kids to the aquarium. Oh, Lord. She got $325. I think that'll cover it. Yeah, I don't know. Scamming, that's what I'm talking about. There's some scammers on here. Yep. Things been running scams since before Christmas. Yep. I didn't know about the tickets, yeah. I can't even 
even get mad. I'm not even mad that people do do this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I know people get mad at like I don't even like Nina. Nina can suck my dick and <laughs> fucking choke on me. I don't give a fuck about that Mexican bitch. But all I'm saying is I, I'm not mad at the fact that her followers gave money if they did, or I, I didn't keep up with it or anything like they did me. You know what I'm saying? They tried. They reported me and all kinds of shit. I mean, I'm not on there telling my followers to report that shit and stuff like. I don't give a fuck yeah. about that shit. Yeah. I mean, if anything, I mean, she, she like. Go back to her miserable life. I mean, like, if anything, she like used you. You know. Yeah, that's usually what they do. They always use me. They need to use this dick in their mouth. Is what they need to do. So, are you uh falling in love with any female? Am I falling in love? Yeah, like on your... You know damn well I'm not following that. <laughs> you crazy as hell. There's too, many, there's too many girls that want to give me head. When there's too many girls in line, you can't fall in love. You just got to make it real quick, boom, boom, and go to the next one. That's and fucking that's hilarious. Hey, don't hate the player, hate that's the game. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if people get mad at that, but that's just how it is. Don't hate the player, hate Johnny the game. Bad, Johnny Bad, you in Florida right now, man. Why ain't you got some pussy with you? Johnny. Why ain't you got no pussy with you, Johnny? I think he's married. If you sit in a condo that you just bought on the beach, he ain't fucking married. Mm, I don't know. I just want to... He's a fucking poser. He's a poser. Listen, y'all, not everybody has the STDs. People have... That's what I'm saying. People have, like, they don't fuck. It's, it's the ones that don't talk about it. That's the ones that, that fuck like crazy. Hell, I talk about it. Tiffany's live. Tiffany's a fucking scammer, too. She messaged me on Snapchat one time and said, please tell me how you how I can get some money. Please really? Tell me how I can get some money like you. Yeah, I swear to God. And Whoa. I her, I said, be yourself. I said, be yourself. And she said, that's it. And I blocked her. <laughs> and that's what, that's what me and her started fucking beefing a long time ago. I didn't know that. Damn, who's yeah. who's not beefing with you? Who's not beefing with me? Hell, I got a lot of people that like me. That's the only reason I keep coming back. Even even if I did, even if the whole fucking app hated me, I would still come back just to just to rub it in. Like there's nothing these dudes can do to stop me on this app. There's nothing they can do. I don't have nobody I answer to. Yeah. So so they like dug they dug my whole life up, but they can't find nobody I work for. Yep. They can't they can't find nothing to fuck my life up. Exactly the same me. So so, so therefore they just throw it in the white flag like we give the fuck up. We're just gonna talk shit to him. That's it. I mean, if if my life could have been ruined, it would have happened last year, two years ago. Like I'm untouchable, and I think that's what they hate. You know. Yeah, they they don't like that shit. Nope, not at all. Bunch of bullies, bunch of bullies on this app, and you know people like Brandy was bullied when she was in fucking school. She's probably been bullied her whole fucking life, and then she's able to go on a platform now where everybody's like, "Oh, Brandy, you're so beautiful." Well, if Brandy's so beautiful. Go eat her fucking dick. <laughs> go eat Brandy's dick if she's that fucking beautiful and that hot. Nobody's fucking Brandy. Oh, what I don't like about brandy is that one day she's like all zen and like mosaics and then like the next day she's like a gutter trash rat you know yeah i don't know that she was for the police department i don't know if that's true or not but well trying to get me arrested like i'm still waiting brandy i know you're listening right now i've been i've been waiting yeah you called everybody you called the atlanta police department and spoke with the sergeant i'm waiting for you to get me arrested <laughs> Like, what do I need to do? Do I need to go do something crazy so you can go, oh, shit, there it is. I know, I'm huh? Kidding. These people don't know how to do this shit just to trigger their ass. Exactly. They need to get that, I and then... To, this is my this is my excitement. You know what I'm saying? This, this is my... Enjoy. I can be enjoying life right now, but it, 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 I, I get an enjoyment out of coming on here and just fucking pissing people off. And I know my followers get an enjoyment out of it, too. Yeah, I mean, you know, you're oh, you're what loved you and. Hey, what up, Haiti? What up, Haiti? Oh, you're trying to give me your thoughts. All right, well, let somebody else call in. Anybody Our... else got any more questions for me? Anyone else have any uh, questions? I'm, li I'm listening. I'm listening to you. I'm listening to you and everything, but I'm still trying to get somebody to come over and suck my dick tonight. So <laughs> I, feel like that. I have to open my phone so I can text. I, got, I had a couple texts going. 
I ate I got some fish on the line, so the dick to get it, get the, it the dick sucking comes first. I totally understand. Dick, dick is not gonna fall off either, people. This dick is strong. <laughs> this motherfucker is strong. This motherfucker is not going nowhere. <laughs> I right, yeah. Well, I'll stay in the room. I'll keep fucking with y'all. Somebody else call in and fuck with Jerry. Okay, Keen. Thank you for calling. All right. Okay. All right, fuck you, Johnny Bats. Alright, bye. Bye. Okay, so guys, so if you call in, like, speak up, because I'm literally holding the iPad to the phone, so if you can speak louder than you usually do, it'll be a lot easier. That was the best caller. Where's Frankie? I gotta get his cute ass on here. Frankie! Frankie! I don't know if you guys saw him in the last scope, but he came out and... Lynn just sent $50 to the PayPal. Thank you, Lynn. Thank you for supporting Big Keen. Any other Big Keen's uh, member would like to call in? You're, you're welcome. Oh, I got to get comfortable. And again, this flag is the thin red line flag. It's the flag for the fire department. That's what I have behind me. Dang, y'all. My, like, cord right here is hot. Gina, call in. You know she's watch. Oh, yeah. They're all watching. But... I kind of want to speak on charity. Uh, today, you know, she said something about, you know, I'm already aware of, like, the rules and stuff. But when a person comes up to fucking attack you, you're not going to pull out a fucking card and read it to them. You're going to defend yourself. Shoot first and ask later. I mean, you know, and... She came on and she was so mad and you got to pull out this card and read it. And blah, 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 blah. I'm sorry if someone's coming up to me and they can get it. So, but she was just so upset. I'm like, come on, girl. Yeah, like, it's not like you're going to be like, uh, can you, wait, hold on. Before you try to attack me, can you, wait, hold, I got to read you something first. Please, who the fuck is going to do that? Nobody. But my dad was in Vietnam, so we are well aware. So, you're not educating anyone, Charity. So... Zippity doo da, zippity a. Yeah. Oh well. I mean, Chris and oh, well, there it is. There. Where is Ginger? Call in, Ginger. Where's Ginger? Ginger's had a bad rap from you know who. Pops is old. Pops uh served 35 years though on the fire department. Uh I don't know, it's 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 very rare for a firefighter to be able to to work 35 years in that industry so my dad is very respected he's very well known um he was in the riots um but for us and our family to have a fire like a fireman shot and killed during a call that was a whole like that was like historic and that opened a lot of people's eyes. And right now in L.A., they are changing the rules and the guidelines and everything. Because 
that's never happened, but it's really sad that in 2018, you know, the, the, the heroes that aren't, that aren't the police aren't armed going in to save your fucking ass from a fire and you're going to shoot him dead. Okay. Okay. That was, that was literally a shock to the whole entire department. I don't know if you guys saw, but when they took the body from, you know, like the morgue to, you know, the, um, the, like the house, Every single overpass had either an ambulance, a fire truck, a cop car. Everyone was saluting. Every single overpass. It was very touching. It was amazing. God, I, Yeah, God bless them, you know. And, you know, I don't know. But that's the new reality that... You know, and it's not bad enough that the families of firemen have to worry about them just going to work, them just maybe dying in a fire. Now we have to worry about them possibly getting shot and they're unarmed. Mm -mm. I was like, Dad, thank God that you're retired because Mom and I would have had a heart attack. Yeah, exactly. And they're... You know, it's like they're there to help. I think they need to be armed too, in my opinion. Because I think that's only happened one more, t like one other time, but I was really shook. I was shook when that happened. That's right. Makes you makes you uh you know think about things <laughs> i know and like to be honest with you guys i don't like going in like big crowds now you know like concerts and stuff cuz <sighs> after that whole like las vegas shooting and the concert that happened in London, I'm I'm kind of staying away from big crowds, cause crazy motherfuckers out there. You never know exactly. Yeah, yeah, you never know, you know. And that Las Vegas that shook me, because I actually had friends there that were playing at that show. Um, my old roommate was in the band Lifehouse. And, um, he was there and his friend in his band, his new band was on CNN and all the, um, all of the news stations. And he met a girl during that whole thing. He grabbed her and they ran together and now they're together. Like, that is one story, like, that they can tell their children about how they met. He basically, like, saved her life. Like, they ran to get... He grabbed her, a total stranger, and now they're together. Yes, it was on TV. I know uh, Brian very well. I used to live with Ben. Um, I used to... I mean, I'm not going to go into who I know because I, everyone's crazy, but anyone else want to call in? You always know everything. How can you deal with Keen after he dogged you, Drew? Well, you know, he dogged me, I dogged him, and we kind of made it up. I mean, I'm not, I'm not phased. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, I've had, me and Don Lot have had, had fights, you know, and it is what it is.
Sorry, guys. God, dark. Yeah. And I, I mean, I consider him family. And we've had many disagreements. And we've had many times where we don't talk. But the one thing about me and Don Line is that no matter what we go through, we will never, like, expose each other. You know? And I never, I have never asked Don Lod who he is. I've never asked for his name. Never asked for, I mean, I thought he was white until he showed his hand. Um, I respected the fact that he wanted wanted to remain anonymous and I never pressured him never cared never cared so Dre drank the Kool-Aid what Kool-Aid I'm still waiting for my haters to call It's grape. Grape grape is the bomb flavor of Kool-Aid. Let's see what else. Hmm. I mean, I can't drink uh very much Kool-Aid now because I have a diabetes, but I used to love it. That's right. Even if me and Don Lott are in the biggest fight, if he needs me, I'm there. Without question. Hey, you're live with Dree. Hey, don't hang up on me. Don't hang up. Let's have a conversation. Okay. Who are you? All right. Hey, it's not who I am. It's what you've done. Hello. Yeah. Yeah, it's what you done with Javier. Stop fucking calling me, you fucking it's creep. My friend. my friend called. I think that's probably Nina's husband, actually, because I heard a lady in the background talking to him like coaching him and Nina's husband sounds like he was like a low rider fucking back in the day or something all my friends know the low rider the low rider I will be going back and I will, um, okay, no, that's not going to go on. Sorry. I'm sorry if I've missed people harassing people and all that stuff, but I'll go back and I'll block it. But I mean, I do apologize. You know, I just, this is my first time with the call in. So, um, you know, um, I'm here with that and then I'm here with you guys. So. But if anyone wants to speak their mind, now's the time. But a fly girl, why would you block Miss Ginger? Like a fly girl, just leave her alone. Just leave her alone. You all just agree to disagree and part ways. Her block came strong. You're very welcome, Miss Ginger. You know, and it's like... I have so many bitches that hate me that I just wish that they would just, you know, we agree to disagree and, I mean, to me, if you hate me, if I'm such a horrible person, I'm such this 
piece of trash? Why do you spend so much motherfucking time on me? Why is my name always in your dick sucker if I'm that horrible? What you're showing me is that you really fucking care. That's what you're showing me. So if you really want to show me what a big piece of shit I am and how horrible I fucking am, don't talk about me. Don't bring me up. Forget about me. That's how you'll show me that you don't give a fuck is if you stop talking about me. But I guarantee you that Gina Baby and Molly had a talk and they're like switching off. Call in Ginger. Big Keen wants you to call in Ginger. That applies to everybody, yeah. I mean, I, okay, if you guys know a girl named Deanna, her and I had a good battle. We battled for quite a few months. She learned that if she stopped talking about me, if she left me alone, I left her alone. And she has come on here a few times and she has just told people, if you leave Drew alone, Dree will leave you alone. That is how I operate. I do not, I respond. I respond. And I pick and choose because I can respond a lot more than I fucking do. A lot of people are, are just even, like, just not even worth my time. But who, who is this Bex82? Because she has my name in her fucking mouth on every fucking scope. And I think I've seen her in Keen's room. Who's Bex82? Because I would love to... Okay, good. I'm glad that she's not, like, accepted in your group. Because, man, that bitch cannot shut the fuck up about me. You know? <laughs> Y'all are just fighting in the comments? Really? Who is she? Fucking show your... Bitch, open camera and show your face, bitch. If you want to talk all that motherfucking shit, bitch, open camera, show face, and talk your shit. You motherfucking troll. She's probably someone like, you know, that we all know. And I'm tired of being accused of being every fucking troll. Today, some some troll had Drew is queen in their, uh, you know, profile or something, and everybody thought it was me in there, and then I went live, and the person was still in there. I don't have a problem speaking my mind, okay? If I have something to tell you, I want you to know that it's from me. I want you to know that it, that I'm saying it directly. So, stop blaming me for all these fucking trolls that I am not, because... For real. If you want to know where you stand with me, you know exactly where to come and find it. I've never held my tongue. I've never been afraid to speak my mind. And I'll let you know where you stand with me. So. And if a person is positive towards me, that doesn't mean it's me. <laughs> Like, they think that nobody supports me on this app at all. And if anyone is, like, like nice to me, they're like, oh, it's Dree. Dree's in here. You're live with Dree. Hey, I'm one of your haters. Going up on me. Y'all, that guy called again. Yes, it does. I don't even know about that guy. I think I am going to do this, you guys. I I will... I don't have a problem um, making this a regular, you know, weekly call-in. Are you talking to me, Brandy?
Okay, well, Don Lod. Um, do you know my phone number? My a real phone number? Okay. Log in with my phone number and I will give you the code and you can block. Cuz I trust I trust Don Lod. I'm sorry. I mean, I'm really sorry, you guys. I hope nobody takes it personally that I haven't been on the chat. Okay, no? Okay. I guess <laughs> Donla doesn't want to block, so... I, I mean, I trust Donlod's judgment, but I guess he doesn't want to, so I'm not going to make him do anything that he doesn't want to. Oh, send a snap. Okay. Oh. Okay, can you text the phone number that is on the um, call-in, and I will give you my phone number? And then you can log in. Hold on, you guys, really quick, okay? Really quick. What? Frankie? Dude, Frankie is passed out over there sleeping. Okay, so give me a give me a little text message, Donlod, and I will send you my phone number, and then you can log in. Cause I trust you. And. Oh my god, I just spilled Coke all over me. I mean, Dr. Pepper. Although I really sh should start liking Coke, you guys, because Gina hates Coke so much. I really should start drinking it. Like, <laughs> I will, okay, I will start drinking Coke on these uh, <laughs> call-in shows. J just for fun. Um, actually, it is the one thing, it is, uh, Dr. Pepper is the one bad thing that I do, and I can do it. Okay, there's Don Lod. so let me send him my phone number, and then I'll get him in here for you guys. Well, I know I should be drinking Diet Coke. But I try to not, you know, have sugar and other things. Because I love my Dr. Pepper, guys. But I know. But my um, levels are normal. Why is it not letting me click on your thing? Hold on. I think it froze because so many people have called in. Or, damn, y'all. This number is going to be deactivated, that's for sure. <laughs> so don't even bother texting me or calling me after this call-in show, because I'll just get a new number next week. Because there's a lot of action. Hi, Mickey. Wait, I'm not taking calls right now. I need to uh, get Don Lod. Okay. Hold on, guys. Let me do this real quick, and then I'll start taking calls again. But I'm not... You guys, that guy is calling from a blocked number. Wait. Hold on. Okay. I just sent it to you, Don Lod. So... Log in, and then I will give you the code. I know it could be someone else, but I needed to give 
Donlod my phone number so that he can start blocking because people are being unruly in the uh, chat. So we need to nip that in the bud. And I hope that no nobody takes offense that I just haven't been on the chat. Okay. Well, whoever what? Okay. Well, they're calling back. You're live with Dree. If I'm triggering you. I'm trigger Nina. Nina, stop having your husband call me. Please, Nina. No, my family will never be on scope again. Ever. So as far as y'all know, I don't have family. Okay, well now I know that it's it says Greenland, so every single time that number calls, I'm just going to hang up. I want to I don't want this stalker. Uh Don Lot, have you tried to log in? Oh wait, hold on. I have it on. Wait, hold on you guys. Oh shit. Wait, wait. I think I can get it from my iPad. The messages Mmm, shit. Yeah, because I have a bright-ass fucking white light right here. That's why. It's like in my eyes. Tell her husband I need some landscaping done. He's a lowrider, you guys. He reminds me of, like, the Art LeBeau. If anyone's on the West Coast, you guys know who Art LeBeau is. He plays plays all like the oldies and all like the you know like the lowrider oldies he like reminds me of that I, well actually it's her brother because I heard that her husband fucking left her I mean her husband's always gone so you know he's not faithful mm. okay if I have do not disturbed on can I go to my messages on my iPhone and still have you guys on here? Somebody's calling from Switzerland right now. Oh, I can? Okay. Then hit the home button. Okay. Okay. Hold on, you guys. I didn't get a text message, Don Lod. Let me know, and then I'll check it again. Let me make sure I gave you the right number. Yeah, I did. Okay. Well, if Mickey wants to call back, he can call back. I just didn't know because it was Switzerland. Okay. Sorry, Mickey. Call back. Lo siento, amigo. Try again? Okay, hold on, guys. It's the right number that I gave you. You're putting in the wrong number. The lady boy story? Oh, okay. Here comes Mickey. I don't even know who Mickey is. Hi, Mickey. Hello, how are you? How are you? I'm just wonderful, thank you. Welcome to my scope. So my number shows up in Switzerland, does it? Um, it does, I'm but it... I'm a long it... way from you, aren't I? What? I'm a long way, eh? Hey. Switzerland? But you were... Geneva, actually. Neutral as hell, right? Pardon me? You're neutral as hell? Switzerland or me? Well, it was a joke. <laughs> yeah, I got you. No, I'm very neutral. I'm more than neutral than you could ever imagine. Really? So who are you? Because I don't even know you. You don't know who I am? Oh, thank you. You don't know who I am, do you? Uh, I've been a lot, around a lot longer than you have, though. Well, that's, I'm not doubting that. I'm saying that <laughs> I don't know who you are, and you 
Michael Will Williams, correct? Correct. Okay. So what's your name? My name is... Wait, you're not fly girl. My name is... Do you even know who you're calling in? It says in my... I know that you're in with the, uh, my, my group of people, my, my, my sort of... Okay, so... ...that I'm in part of. My name so, is Dree. Yes, I mean... I beg for girls, huh? <laughs> I'm Dree. Why does it say... What? You're who? I'm sorry? Dree. Okay, how you doing, Dree? Great. I'm on the West Coast. West Coast okay, cool. is the best coast. So there's a rumor that I seem to flirt with women on, on Periscope or whatever. i like to know anyone in your room, anybody in your room, women-wise, have I flirted with any of you people out there? Hmm? Hey, anybody? I don't think so. Has he flirted with any of the women in this room? Um, hmm? Big Keen said, yes, you have. Well, that's Big Keen saying. I'm asking the women. He flirts with them. me. <laughs> well, I, because I, I have a thing for, you know, I have a thing for Big Keen. You know. Only, you know, yes, pink. She stole my heart. That pink girl. You know what I'm saying? Well, she's taken. I think she, she's been taken like a bus, okay, that one. She's on. Literally, she's a bus. <laughs> she's, you know, everyone, everyone's had a ride on pink. Damn. I like you already. Well, it's true, isn't it? It's true. I don't lie. I tell it like it is. I mean, some people just don't like to get the truth. That woman can't think for herself. She can't do anything for herself. God forbid her son was in a hospital. 